You may now begin your presentation. We alone cannot change the world, but we can cast the stone across the waters to create ripples that will. We can create sustainable change, change that will change in generations to come. We can make a lasting difference, a difference that will change people's mindsets from all around the world. We are a team of over 70 active members, contributing over 40,000 hours. A team that strives to create the ripples that make sustainable change. This year, we were able to impact over 9,000 individuals, and we were able to raise over $280,000 in funding for our communities. There is one thing that connects us all, our passion to make a difference. And today, we're going to tell you a story. Come with us to Pisac, a village located in the sacred valley of Peru, a place renowned for its beauty, filled with vibrant indigenous culture. But beyond this beautiful surface, families are struggling. One in three children have no choice but to go to work in the dangerous mines or work unfulfilling jobs. These mines have poor ventilation, long working hours, and high risk of physical injury, a dangerous environment not suitable for any child. For these children, education is not an option. In the heart of Pisac is Kuzikause, a school for children from low-income families that uses a pay-what-you-can system. This system often provides inconsistent education and lack of proper schooling. Three years ago, Kusi Kause reached out to us because they wanted to incorporate business into their curriculum. But during our first visit, and by listening to the community, we understood that business was only a symptom of a much greater problem. Enrollment at Kusi Kause was declining. By speaking with the mayor, teachers, and community leaders, we learned that families were surviving day to day, and that education offered them little value. Without a reliable tuition revenue, the school was on the brink of shutting down. But Kusi Kause had an idea. They had a garden that they believed could become a reliable source of income and have opportunities for their students. They also believed that our business education could help turn that idea into a reality. This is where we started the ripples that began to change the community of PSAC, Project Sacred Valley, a solution that starts with education, leads to economic opportunity, and results in the empowerment of an entire community. We started by creating a curriculum to address the skills gap and also implement business education. We worked with the teachers to create 10 modules teaching business fundamentals and entrepreneurship. Howell was one of these students who dropped out of Kusikause to go to work in the mines to earn an income. After hearing about our program and the opportunities that it provides, he was so excited to return to Kusi Kause and pursue his education. Huwal and five other students were able to graduate from Kusi Kause after they took our program. After seeing the impact of our curriculum, we turned mo our modules into a textbook, which was then certified by the mayor and sent to surrounding villages, where our curriculum has been taught to over 680 students in the Sacred Valley. This year, Kusi Kause decided to expand by giving their students the choice to major in one of four majors. Enrollment at the school has jumped from just 12 to now over 110 students. Education was the first step to ensure the ripple of long-lasting impact. Our education has led to the creation of economic opportunity for Kusi Kause, providing them with the choice to pursue a better future. Howell and five other students used their education to transform the garden at Kusi Kause into a garden cafe and business, all on their own. They named it Kusinyan, meaning a new road, because for them, that's exactly what it was. Howell's new path was becoming the first new garden manager. We helped them apply what they learned and taught them how to get business partnerships. But we didn't just teach them, we showed them. With the youth, we were able to secure two restaurant partnerships. On their own, they were able to secure four additional partnerships. 
And now they have six restaurants who buy produce directly from Cusinian. Cusinian is vital to PSAC. As before, organic produce was being outsourced from other communities, but it can now be grown locally. Cusinian practices horticulture and permaculture, which is the sustainability of garden ecosystems, utilizing a zero waste model, making them environmentally sustainable. We worked with Hoel to transform Cusinian into a sustainable and profitable garden business. This year, Cusinian was able to grow and sell over 1,700 pounds of fresh produce, generating over $10,000. Cusinian now offers a co-op program for the students of Cusicause, providing them with the opportunity to stay in school and earn an income. This co-op program allows the students to use what they learn from our modules and workshops to calculate revenue and expenses, track inventory, forecast demand, and run a successful garden business. Cusinian's roots are embedded in the empowerment of youth and providing them whichever skills necessary to help them fulfill their passion a passion of their own ambitions. The youth are now exploring brand new business ventures. They are excited to take risks, apply their learning, and see entrepreneurship as a viable option. We taught the community how to spot opportunities. Acknowledging that PSAC was on the route to Machu Picchu, they were excited to take advantage of this. So we helped them create an event that could give them the opportunity to sell their products to the tourists and grow their own economy. Project Sacred Valley taught the community how to plan and execute an event that celebrates their culture, including pricing, promotion, product, and purchasing. We witnessed the immense transformation from our first event to the community taking initiative and doing it all on their own. And now, the community successfully runs this event four times a year. Let's hear what Hoel has to say. To us, empowerment is changing mindsets and equipping them with the knowledge to create a positive change in their own lives. Over the last year, we have been able to empower over 160 individuals by teaching them transferable skills that they can take and apply on their own. Howell took the education that we taught him and began to teach other youth in the community. This has created a ripple which allows him to provide ongoing mentorship to 51 students, equipping them with transferable skills. Project Sacred Valley has opened the community's eyes to see the value of education. This year, they ran almost 300 workshops teaching the community relevant education. One of these students is Yubisa a 16-year-old single mother who dropped out of Kusikause in order to work and provide for her child. After seeing the opportunities that our program created, Yubisa was inspired. So like her well, she joined our educational program. Upon completion of our program, Yubisa gained the opportunity to become an employee at the garden business. It was here that she was able to realize the true value of education, taking her future into her own hands. And we are now proud to say Yuvisa is the new garden manager. She has become a role model for her daughter and other young women in the Sacred Valley. We worked with both Howell and Yuvisa to implement a financial management system that teaches employees to record their sales and manage inventory. They went from not tracking their sales to handwritten receipts and now utilizing Excel to increase efficiency in their business. The community saw the opportunities that were created by Kusinyan and have decided to acquire an additional piece of land that will be used to harvest quinoa this month. The stone that we casted led to the empowerment of Yuvisa and will lead to the empowerment of eight other women who she plans on employing to grow this business while supporting their children. Meet Paula, our on-ground liaison. More than ever to God. Will you open our eyes and we can have more possibilities using our fruits to produce some other items? And also um, with the tools that you brought, which help us to see the project in a more complete way. Because 
we would register the data in a better way, and then we should see the complete panoramas and with the information that can make better decisions. This is important that I'm seeing in the collaboration. We are with the same people who are doing with us. We laid the foundation for Project Sacred Valley. This year, we were able to reach the success that we had envisioned and saw the impact of the stone we casted three years ago. Now, Project Sacred Valley is fully sustainable in PSAC. At the beginning of this presentation, we told you about how one stone can create the ripples that will change the world. That one stone was education. We started with the intentions of improving a garden business, but we ended up providing them with education that led to economic opportunity that would soon empower the entire community. But this isn't the end of our story. Our new beginning starts in Amaru, another vibrant indigenous community in the Sacred Valley. Amaru is a small Andean community, home to only 160 families filled with world-class weavers who want to share their culture with the rest of the world. But their location and isolation in the mountains prevents them from progressing at the same rate as other communities, leaving them behind. The people of Amaru create some of the best hand-woven textiles in Peru, but are unable to sell their goods. After seeing our success in PSAC, our on-ground liaison reached out to us to help this community. By speaking with Paula, we were able to conduct our preliminary needs assessment and understood that this community is in need of business fundamentals, which will allow them to access their market um, run a, and run a successful business. When we go to Amaru this August, we want to go prepared to listen and to toss the first stone that will begin the new ripple of impact for this community. This will be taken this will be done by taking our proven model and adapting our curriculum to the needs of this community. By this time next year, Project Sacred Valley's goal is to empower the people of Amaru by creating economic opportunity for them to share their culture with the rest of the world. Four years ago, Huwal went from endangering his life by working in the mines every day to now planning on coming here to Canada to pursue his dreams. But this story is not just about one person. This story is about the mindset of an entire community that was inspired to break the cycle of poverty and truly empower their youth through education, entrepreneurship, and the choice of a more promising future. Like Yuvisa, who went from sacrificing her future for her child to now becoming a role model for her daughter and other women like her in the Sacred Valley. With this newfound passion, we are helping them create eight new jobs, three new businesses, and helping them generate over $10,000 for Kusi Kause. Project Sacred Valley has impacted over 1,800 community members, equipping them with transferable skills through our 298 workshops hosted this year. Project Sacred Valley is a proven and adaptable business model that can transform communities. We are improving livelihoods socially. By empowering the marginalized communities through education. Economically. By using the power of entrepreneurship to create economic opportunity. And environmentally. By creating localized food systems for a more sustainable future. But this is just one of the eight projects that Enactus Ryerson ran this year. Like Project Secure, aiming to reshape the way we interact with food by creating sustainable food systems that address food insecurity and food wastage. Since January, we have been able to raise nearly $20,000 and we partnered with Scatting Court Community Center to provide over 1,000 meals to marginalized youth in Toronto. Project Uplift is changing the way we look at affordable housing by empowering community members to tackle the housing crisis through affordable homes made of repurposed shipping containers. This year, we partnered with Giant Containers and four other companies, raising $30,000 in funding for our first modular home. Project Sonyu is creating sustainable fashion systems while empowering women who are coming to Canada from all around the world. This year, we, have been able, we are proud to say that we partnered with Newcomers Women's Services and in just two months have been able to raise over $80,000 in funding. 
This summer, we will be working with 16 women from diverse backgrounds to equip them with the resources necessary to become entrepreneurs here in Canada. Growing up, we get told that the world is the way it is, but we want to live in a world where no one gets left behind. Where everyone goes to school and education gives meaning in life. Where all girls have equal opportunities to thrive and be safe. A world where we have enough food for no one to go hungry. We are one step closer to changing the world with a team of over 70 active members contributing over 40,000 hours. We have been able to raise over a quarter of a million dollars to create a world we want to live in. This year, Enactus Ryerson has been able to impact, to empower over 200 individuals and impact over 9,000 people. We alone cannot change the world, but we can cast the stone across the waters to create ripples that will. Our impact goes beyond the numbers. It's about the stories, the lives, the people, and the mindsets that we have been able to transform for everyone, everywhere. We are Enactus Ryerson. We will now begin the question and answer period. Congratulations, great presentation. I, I'd like to ask if you've had some thoughts how you can, you know, you've done, it, it seems like you've made a great impact on two communities so far in Peru. How do you think you can scale that faster so you can you know, multiply the effects, get to more communities, communities, sorry, in a shorter period of time? Yeah, for sure. So the fundamentals of our project is the education. So uh, Enactus Ryerson has been empowering people through education for over 25 years. And with Project Sacred Valley specifically, our goal is to empower marginalized communities. So we are looking within our five-year plan to expand with, uh, beyond Peru. But for now, within our one and uh, three-year plan, we are looking to empower more communities within the Sacred Valley. hesitating with this question, but you guys raised like a quarter of a million dollars and you're quantifying $10,000 of impact. So how do you rationalize that return? Yes. Um, so that $10,000 is the revenue that the community in PSAC was able to generate through the garden business and the community events. Now that $280,000 of capital that we have been able to raise, none of that went to PSAC. This is because we realized that we can't just give them money and it's kind of using that money to leverage it to create education that could help communities empower themselves. And that $280,000 is being stretched across the other seven projects that Enactus Ryerson is looking to kind of create and accelerate over the next year. Great presentation, you guys. Um, just a question, this was an established project. Can you be specific about what your team did this year to escalate the success? Yeah, for sure. So this year specifically, um, back in May, our team did go down to Peru and we worked with both Howell and Yvisa to implement the financial management system and explore the different various uh, business ventures. But while we were there, we were able to see that the community had been revitalized. And from there, we, see, we were able to identify that this project has now become fully sustainable. So from there, we were able to uh, talk with our on-ground liaison, Paula, and we were looking to expand our project because we knew that we empowered these individuals in this community. So over this past year, we've been working with them with anything they need and looking to uh, advance our project as well. Hi, I'm just curious for the school, how did you choose the four specializations and uh, what will the impact of those be on the community? 
Yes, those are the four specializations were horticulture and permaculture, childcare, ceramics, and then also just business fundamentals. And so this is something that by working with the teachers, we, we were able to identify that this is something that the community wants to carry forward for them to create new business opportunities that could create products such as marmalade and also essential oils and also the quinoa business that we mentioned at the end. So it's all kind of subjects and specializations that kind of align to the skill sets of the people in PSAC. So we didn't just randomly pick them, it's something that they wanted. Can you talk a little bit about the 46,524 volunteer hours and the impact that that has had on you and your team? Um, yeah, for sure. So we are a team of over 70 members. I will not speak on my colleagues, but I will speak on myself. I came to Canada three years ago, uh, and I came here seeking asylum uh, as a Syrian refugee. And when I came here, I had absolutely no purpose, zero, none. And I was at business school, but I didn't realize the importance of business until I joined Enactus. And I know this sounds very cliche, uh, but it, Enactus has a very generous spot in my heart because it made me realize that business is not just about what money you make or what, how much you make. It's about the value that you actually provide to other people. And a lot of business students that I talk- Your time has expired. <laughs> Judges and guests, please help me in thanking the team from Ryerson University.